All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. We have some huge breaking NFL news that just came out from uh, Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning to be exact, the Las Vegas Raiders will be releasing quarterback Derek Carr, making him an unrestricted free agent. At, look, we all were expecting this, right? Nobody, when news broke the other day, uh, I believe it was yesterday, right before the start of the Super Bowl, where Derek Carr said, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to be traded anywhere. I'm not waiving the no trade clause. You have to release me. In turn, basically not weakening his new team. And he's also not rewarding the team that's kicking him to the curb. So, you know, I don't mind it from Carr's perspective, especially if he thinks that there's more money uh, on the table for him. So, you know, if you're Derek Carr, you finally have an opportunity to pick where you want to go. But here's what's really cool. Ian Rappaport did list off uh, a couple teams that will have like guaranteed interest in Derek. Carolina Panthers, New Orleans Saints, obviously. He did say the New York Jets, not the first team, not the last team, but he did mention the Jets. The Tennessee Titans, I don't want to rule out the uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as well. I think that's another team. I mean, you look at the weapons on that team. It's just insane. You got Bulls running the defense. Um, but this is... You know, to 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 look at a guy like Derek Carr, is he a top five quarterback? No, right? We've said that a lot. But in my opinion, Derek is or has potential to be a consistent top 10 quarterback in the National Football League. In my eyes, he is a franchise guy. He shows up every single Sunday. He's durable. He's reliable. He's dependable. There, there hasn't been quarterback question marks, a quarterback controversy in Oakland slash Vegas since he's been there. In 2014, when he was drafted out of Fresno State as a second round pick, there just there's no problems with Derek Carr. The only time that the, that there was ever kind of an issue was this season, and it started right around uh, the time where the Raiders played the Steelers. I believe it was on Christmas or Christmas Eve. But uh, the point is, Derek Carr, in my eyes, would be a massive, massive upgrade over what the New York Jets currently have. Clearly, but I, I think the big question here. Will Joe Douglas and Albert Breer actually did an article um, this morning where he said that the Jets actually tried to they they did, in fact, call the Raiders about Carr inquiring about a trade. Um, they obviously couldn't get to the same level of framework uh, or the, the, the Saints. The, the only reason why Derek Carr went down to uh, New Orleans to check it out is because the Saints and the Raiders had the framework in place for a deal. Apparently, the Jets did not. So, you know, one has to ask the question, is Joe Douglas looking at Derek Carr as a legitimate option here? Is he saying, hey, I love Derek. He'd be a great, great fit for the New York Jets. I just don't want to pay him on this current contract. And I don't want to have to give up a third round pick for him. You know, Albert Breer actually said it, uh, gave a gave us a you know cool little analogy. Will the Jets settle for a double or wait and try to hit a home run later, alluding to Aaron Rodgers? That question is still up in the air. If I was Joe Douglas, though, I'm taking I'm making a full court press for Derek. Right, I'm trying to get him up to Florham Park. I, the cool thing about Derek here, because he was released, he can now sign whenever. Like he can literally sign in two days. Like he doesn't have to wait till legal tampering, all that kind of stuff. He was released early. So we could see Derek news, uh, Derek Carr news. I want to say within the week, within the next two weeks here, I expect Carr to do his due diligence because he's never had that opportunity to, you know, go out and be a free agent. But the bottom line, I love Carr. In my opinion, he's a really, really good quarterback. He's not elite, but he's really, really good. And he, he's out on the open market. We saw... What did the what did the what did the Rams have to give up to go to go land Matthew Stafford? Two first round picks, a middle round pick, and Jared Goff. What did the Broncos have to give up to go get Russell Wilson? Two first round picks, three players, and a middle round pick. Deshaun Watson, three first round picks, two fourth round picks, a third round pick. These tr that's not even considering the money. That's just the trade compensation. Derek Carr is just out there. You don't have to give up anything. The Jets don't have to wager a draft pick. Nothing at all. So if I'm JD, I'm getting that contract out in front of Derek's face, right? Yes, the Jets need a quarterback. Yes, Aaron Rodgers is better than Derek Carr, like comparing apples to apples here. You know, who would you rather want? Probably Rodgers in a season, season or two. But I do think that, you know, with Carr's, Carr being a lot younger than Rodgers, to me, that 
that sways in his favor. He's going to be a little cheaper than Rodgers. You don't really get that diva kind of stuff with Rodgers. Uh, the baggage, if you will, right? I've seen a lot of people uh, not too pleased with the whole darkness retreat and him taking his time and him doing this almost every offseason. With Derek, you don't really get that, right? So there's pros and cons to every available quarterback. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I know... We all expected this news, but oh, man, it's still insane to think about Derek Carr just out on the open market as a free agent. Absolutely insane. Will the Jets make a move? If I'm if I'm JD, I'm doing it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, and as always, go Jets.